Morning everybody, hope you're all well today, peace and love to every one of you. I just wanted to share a few scriptures with you today. My name's Phil Mariner from Two Radio UK, bringing you uh, a voice for faith and freedom. Um, this is for a prophecy. There will be signs in the sun, the moon and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. P perplexity means uh, not understanding, confused about what's going on in the earth. And I would say that mankind is, is under that right now. They're, complex, they're perplexed about what's going on in the earth, how the problems are mounting, how they don't know the way out. And the prophecy goes on to say, Anguish of nations not knowing the way out. This is a problem. Mankind doesn't know the way out. But the watchmen on the wall have been telling you for years the way out of the problems. But no one listens, and only and hence only the rebellious live in a scorched land. And uh, all these uh, metaphors we've just spoken about. Uh, perplexity at the roaring and the tossing of the sea. The roaring and the tossing of the sea is a, a metaphor for mankind, the, sh the shouting and uh, the uprisings, um, tossing, just like a wave tosses battles and forth, forth in the sea against the rock. And this is what happens. This is what's happening to mankind. And the voices are growing louder and louder as we go on. And the perplexity gets worse. The anguish so, and hence so, because of those voices coming forward, which don't bring light, life and healing, then this is where confusion sets in. And the people don't know the way out any longer. Uh, they've lost their trust in the governments, who themselves are me and men. They don't know themselves know the way out of anything. They can only try to manage the situations. And we pray for those also who were in charge. Even though uh, many of them may have uh, ulterior motives or agendas against the people or just to maintain their power or to maintain a system which is on the verge of collapse. And truly the, the systems are on the verge of collapse unless people start to look for the light and that light is the lord jesus christ it's the only answer because every other um every other system's been tried as i said before but i just want to share a couple of scriptures of, of comfort with you this morning uh to try and give you a little bit comfort to those who might not uh, have have asked, uh, asked of Christ or relied upon him or put their trust and faith in him. It says, God makes a home for the lonely. He leads out the prisoners into prosperity and only the rebellious dwell in the parched land. So for the lonely of you out there, he's made a place you can go to. And I don't mean you can <laughs> physically go there. It's spiritually and this is how your uh, your heart and your heart and mind will be healed, because you can go to that place where nobody can uh, break in, nobody can steal from you. But while you're in the flesh and while you're conscious of the fleshly things, someone can come along and steal and rob what you have. Hence, the theft of your heart, all that you love, all that you believe in. And your mind and all that you understand and know uh, from you growing up and to where you are in life today and so he leads the lonely because let's face it it's a lonely life and many people are lonely you might be surrounded by people you might have lots of people in your life but there's still that that little gap inside which makes you feel lonely that little uh, missing that little chasm but you can't explain, you don't know what it is. And that chasm gets wider and wider and you feel isolated and alone in the world because of the problems that we all have. 
And many fall by the wayside and they struggle to carry on in life because they don't understand, they see no hope. But the watchmen on the wall, the sons and daughters of the living God, have been placed in the earth to bring light, life and healing to you. And hopefully I can do my little bit uh, to try and bring us some light. Whether you want to go into the light or look for the light uh, is your business. But I can only share with you uh, and point you in the direction of where to go. And so he leads out the prisoners into prosperity. Now he's not talking about prisons. He's not talking about Durham Jail or Belmarsh Prison. He's talking about the psychological prison that you're in. And this is what those who are in charge have, uh, have caused mankind to become. Prisoners and slaves of, of, of the system. And they themselves are caught up in it and it will all implode upon them uh, because they, they've set those things out for the nation, for the people to follow as a way forward for society. But it don't work. It only works for a short time. And as you can see, it's all collapsing around us. Everything, everything, every institution, every thought, idea, understanding, every uh, goal and aspiration has been destroyed because it's all coming to an end. And we've been told this in the Bible thousands of years ago, what will come, how will mankind end up? And uh, and you have to sit and take notice. And so he's going to lead those prisoners out of prosper in, into prosperity. It means you'll prosper, your, your uh, humanity and life, heart and mind will be renewed and you will prosper in the spirit. If you look for the spirit, if you go into enter into the spirit and see things in the spiritual sense and seek understanding and wisdom and discernment and you will find you can escape, you've been set free from the prison of the society, societies that we're in and, uh, and they might lock you up physically but they still can't rob you with your freedom uh, and that is certainly true. Uh, of those, this is what we're trying to share with you. And in John 16, I have told you these things so that in me that you may have peace, so that in Christ you may have peace. This is the only place you can get peace and contentment. But take heart, I have overcome the world. So he's saying, no matter what problems come upon you, you can overcome them, you will overcome them. And we will overcome the COVID. And this is well, if, if we enter into Christ, means if we seek not and ask of him, he will reveal himself to us. And we'll have the power and the strength to overcome all these things. We've been hearing in the news just yesterday, one and four of our children have suicidal thoughts, depression, is on the rise you know the millions of people are suffering depression millions of people are going to look for tablets and and uh what do you call it counseling to help them out of this situation because they can't cope with it because they have no spiritual maturity or strength and so they have to ask for it and you will get it and then you will have the strength to overcome all these things no matter because I'm sorry I've got to tell you, these things are only the beginning. We're not even at the end of the anguish. And so the rebellious are in the land at the moment, the ungodly ones, the ones who are not looking for God, who are not looking for righteousness and peace. And these are the ones that are causing uh, the disturbance in society. And it's written in the Bible, there's a commotion in the marketplace. There's a commotion worldwide. There's a commotion in our communities. There's commotion in our families. And it all started with, it started with the families, with the breakup of the families. The, the, um, the, yeah, the breakup of the families. And then the rebellious children, which is also spoken about in the Bible as being part of the last days. And so because of the fleshly things uh, and we've been conditioned to uh, have no heart or feeling and so natural affection disappears 
no natural affection and this is what's wrong with our children there's no they weren't brought up with natural affection where a lot of them weren't and uh, many of you are you've done a great job under your circumstances but those who haven't been brought up with uh, that natural affection are rebellion against society they've rebelled against the families and they're rebelling against uh, their schools the families the police society and so they go on to worse and worse things they've given up and they've decided you know a few to the world like and they'll do what they want because they've been conditioned into thinking their happiness and joy is only in material things but as it's turned out in this last year, material things are no good for you. Well, I'm not saying they're no good for you, but they can't save you from the anguish and the heartache that is upon the nations. This is what I've been trying to say in my videos. Sometimes I don't get it right the way I put it across. But uh, I'm, I'm bringing these um, true radio is here to try and shed light on the things going on in the world. And I don't need to speak, the, uh, tell you the news because your he your heads and your hearts and mind, your minds and your hearts are filled with doom and gloom from the news. So I'm not here to bring news about conspiracies about COVID, what the government's hiding from. I'm not interested in that any longer. I'm here to try and bring light, life, and uh, and healing to you in the name of Jesus. So Christ overcame the world. He was in anguish, so he understands your anguish. And those of you who don't know, he was resurrected. He's alive. He's been alive since the first century. He is an eternal king. He's not a man sitting on a uh, on the cloud, with a long white beard. He's a spirit in the spirit. And uh, he he is alive, and he's not far from every one of you, from even though those of you who haven't called him or inquired of him. He's not far from every one of us. And all you have to do is ask, seek, knock, look for the, his light and he will show it to you and he will shine upon you and you will be released from your mental prison and your heart will be renewed and you will have a new understanding, a new way of looking at things and so become free. And whatever goes on in the world, you're free from. And he goes on to say, And all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. So because of Christ, we are more than conquerors. We, won't, we will not only conquer that which brings your heartache and which brings mental torture and which brings enslavement to your life. You will do more than that. You will become victorious. You will not only defeat those things, which are bringing your unhappiness and discontentment, you will have a newness of life in which you can achieve anything. And the Apostle goes on to say, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels or demons, neither the present or the future, nor any powers, neither height or depth, or anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ the Lord. So this is the purpose of entering into Christ. So you will have the fullness of love within you. And nothing will be able to come against you. Enemies will come against you. And they will scatter in every direction, it's written. So neither in death or life. So it won't matter. Even if you have even if you're going to face death. Even if you're going to get COVID-19, unfortunately, and die, it won't matter because your eternal destiny and future is assured in Christ. You haven't got a future in your uh, material possessions. You haven't got a future in your money. And we've experienced in this last year, it's all been pointless. So what else is there apart from that? Or what else is there is the Lord Jesus Christ to set you free. Neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future. So no matter what, what's gone before, you can leave it behind. What happened yesterday, 
you can leave it behind and don't don't look back today or tomorrow is the first day of the rest of your life in christ for all time for all eternity true joy and contentment and peace with wisdom and understanding but of course there's a price to pay there's a, everything has a price and the price you pay is to leave the things of the world behind and when i say leave the things of the world behind I'm on, i don't mean you go and toss everything out your house you don't uh, burn all your money or give it all away it means that your psychological attachment to possessions to anything which might be you can call them idols that which you put your hope in in your life your government your money your possessions can you see so neither past present what's gone before you can leave it all behind emotionally to start a new life you can ask the lord jesus to give you a new life in him to lead you along the way it's a beautiful beautiful thing which is not to be mocked at or smocked but the rebellious ones will do that and they'll try every single way to rob you of that because they themselves don't want you if they haven't got it and they're not looking for it well they don't want you to have it but your love the love that you will have the revealing of love in you which is christ will be so overpowering that they won't able be able to rob you of your mind and your heart in christ nothing in creation there's not anything whatsoever they can do against you to take away your joy to take away your destiny to take away your identity and this is what's wrong with our young people they don't have an identity a destiny hence or a hope any longer it's being robbed from them and this is why they're suffering mental torture and they children don't say anything they don't say much but they're suffering believe it or not inside when they see the doom and the gloom all they're hearing is death destruction doom that's all they can hear when they're brought up and that stays with them so they perceive and see the world in those terms and so they they have really developed a mentality or an attitude that it ain't enough it's not worth it any longer i might as well just go and stab people in the street or rob or steal or whatever it is can you see but nothing can separate you from the love of god and that love of god is overwhelming and many uh, brothers and sisters in christ can testify and will testify of that love for go that god has bestowed upon them it is overpowering it is overwhelming and sometimes it comes in different ways it can come in a vision a dream it can come in in power and i felt god love from head to foot in my life and when i, I had my serious car crash I felt God's presence upon me, and that's when I became a Christian. A word I'm not fr afraid to use. But the time will be coming where you will not be able to use words like that. You'll be classed as a terrorist or mentally ill. Well, and that goes for anybody with faith. But nothing, nothing can separate you. It is glue, the eternal glue. It can't, nothing can break it because man's ways are not god's ways he has a plan for the earth he has a plan for your life he has a plan and so he he leads us in the direction to life and the lastly may the god of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the holy spirit and this is what's missing in the world the hope is gone but you brothers and sisters those you of you are inquiring and asking of the lord will have an overflow of hope 
so you will be able to speak the living word when Christ makes his abode in you, when he is unveiled in you from the studying of your Bible. This book is the testimony of the living God being revealed to mankind. It's a written testimony as much as uh, the book of Napoleon was about Napoleon, the Bible is about Jesus Christ. The manifestation of God on earth through Jesus Christ. The revealed God. The God that no one ever saw. But he revealed himself to mankind 2,000 years ago and he's still here. And that overflowing hope that his eternal plan is to fill mankind with that overflowing love and hope and newness of life. And when you allow Christ into your heart, he is revealed in you and you will see that he is true. He will see that he is good and it's a good thing and it's a beneficial thing, not just for you, but for all of those who will listen to you.